So today is Game Pass Day. Last week uh, was the first one we did uh, 80s. And today is Outer Wilds. It was just added to Game Pass like last week. And it's one of those games that I was really looking forward to. To play. Like it's one of those ones that were just like when it came out people were talking about it. There's a lot of buzz around it. And I just never got around to playing it. But now it's on Game Pass. I'm like bullshit. I have no excuses now. I have to play this game. Oh, the planet's spitting. I'm like, it looks like the, tr the, the trees are just moving. But it's literally just the planet spinning. Cool. Let's, uh... Let's check this out, shall we? New expedition. Wake up. There's our pilot back from your pre-launch uh, camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day. Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here you are. Leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. All systems go. Glad you're excited, but remember, if you wreck the ship, I'm not building you a new one. I'm not made of lightweight re-entry grade aluminum alloys, you know. Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Okay. Post some marshmallows and stick. Eat that shit. Yeah. What you up to, Micah? Hey, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you going to go into space, aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. I want to practice with a pro before I leave. Oh, you're just saying that, but if you really want to practice with me, I guess I could help you out a little. Try to land on one of the geyser, geyser poles. Okay. Uh, show me what you've got. Fly model ship. I did it. Now what? If the objective is to be a great person, you win. All indifferent. You're too kind. Whee! Coming back down. Well, I think we we all know that uh, <laughs> my flying skills suck. Talk to Porphy. Hey, old hatchling. I hear you're leaving this to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's, you, me, and Gossin open up a bottle of good stuff. Uh, I'm only seeking adventure amongst one star, actually. The stars are too far away. 
The good stuff is less uh, delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. Uh, another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. Uh, nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. Dr. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They really don't explode as often anymore. I'm, t I'm told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. Yeah, the space program has certainly come a long way. I should probably thank you for causing a few flash fires than your predecessors. By the way, good luck with those retro rockets. Uh, this pilot seat used by pioneering astronaut Feldspur is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in Perthian history. New satellite camera. Uh, this projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. Uh, the satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Oh shit, there's something down there. Interesting. Uh, so it's launch day, huh? I was going to miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it time you built a new, less flammable one? The big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program, just say the word. Nice to try, we all know you have it out for that tree. What? No, I just think it's in the way and someone ought to chop it down, you know? Specifically me. You think you think this has to do with the the time I fell out of it and broke my arm? That was when we were hatchlings. Who would hold a grudge for that long? What are you looking at? Hello there, space cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of, of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Where's the observatory? Questions like that what make us worried about you going up into space on your own, you know? The observatory is up the path behind the waterfall. There are a couple of signs marking the way, but really, you just keep going up and then hook a right when you get to the Zero-G cave. Observatory. Hey, Tefra, look at this little guy. Hello, astronaut. It isn't my favorite troublemaker. Uh, we wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Uh, sure, let's play. Woohoo! Okay, here are the rules. Uh, Galena and me will hide with these radios and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. No peeking. No peeking. Signal scope. Find these kids. Oh, definitely behind the waterfall, right? Somewhere? Ah, I see you, kid. Ah, oh, you found me, but my hiding spot was super good. Don't forget, you have to find both of us, okay? On top of the house or something? Yeah. I won! I'm happy! Thanks for playing with us! I did it! I found them! Who are you, sir? Spin them! Finish, finish, oh, so finished. What am I saying? Fishing rhyme, fishing rhymes. Fishing rhyme. Singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater? 
Guess we'll all be a little busier without you around the lend hand. That big water plant planet's a giant's deep. That's where I'd go. I need to find Hornfels. Did you try the observatory? I've literally never seen them anywhere else. Let's go there. Oops. Hi, astronaut. Uh, you know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gossen said it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling. This ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm growing up. When I'm a grown up, ghost matter is awesome. Ghost matter is super cool. Oh, it'll burn the heck out of you. You shouldn't be throwing rocks in there. Ghost matter is, is dangerous. You know, ghost matter is how <laughs> Tectic lost their foot, right? Uh, whoa, really? That is so cool. God. Oh, what's this? Moraine. Hmm. Oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. Any good sounds from space today? There are. My signal scope is set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency. So I'm listening to the Traveler's music. Last night I heard Rybeck's banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets too. Depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. Saw smoke coming from Young Bark Crater up north and figured I should go check it out. You can use the scout launcher, just please don't break it while I'm gone. Tight. East, know my ruins. South, Quantum Grove Crater. Uh, northwest, Geyser Mountains. Mountains? Uh, North Young Bark Crater. What'd that do? Oh, because you get to see the ghost matter. You don't really see all of it, but you see like all of it in the picture. That's cool. Uh, hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before you launch. I've got zero G training set up if you want a refresher. Dawson. Uh, hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nervous getting the better of you? Uh, right, like you weren't nervous for your first flight. Uh, I'm a little nervous, yeah. Are you kidding? Natural at this. Hey, don't worry about it. Your nerves are between you, me, and the vast endless endlessness of space. Uh, but really, you'll do fine out there. I'd worry more about that ship if I were you. Hopefully that lunatic slate at least fixed the retro rockets. So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, 
set up down in the zero G cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last minute zero G practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. Uh, cool, get to it and try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. What do I need to do? Something popped up here. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, fuck. Sorry, thank you. <laughs> I'm in chat in case you a fucking game. <laughs> so I'm fucking like in the fucking cave. Oh my god. I'm in the cave. I'm flying around. There's zero gravity. And now there's this big fucking hole that I just fell down. But it's, uh, it's zero gravity. So I'm just floating around here. I am so sorry. Okay, where's this other one? Last thing. Nice. Training simulation complete. Oh my god, ugh. That's what it's supposed to be like, uh... When you're out repairing your ship. That's cool. So, was that the last thing we need to do? Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there, and hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that, uh, now that I've put so much time into training you. Got it? Hell yeah, dude. Let's get the hell out of here. Observatory. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelt in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look at yet look yet at the Nomai, uh, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. What the hell? Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the Translator Tools inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any know my text you want, anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Ha! <laughs> oh, jeez, do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous, and I'm not even the one going in the space. How are you feeling? I'm terrified. Ah, don't look. Don't let me make you nervous. You've been training for this day since we were hatchlings, remember? You'll do great, I promise. So what's the dirt? You here to see the new Nomad statue? Uh, just here for the watch codes, dude. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, yeah, I get that you're dying to head out in space, but seriously, you've got to see the statue before you go. It's an amazing find. Makes me wish we could see what a real live Nomai looks like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, oh, jeez. I got a little carried away there. Go on. You have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Let's 
This piece of Nomai writing was essential to, to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Ah, uh, Cassava, we are nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says cal calibrating the device won't take long. Uh, fortunately, the Adderlock, rocks lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Uh, aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was de discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system? Or were they born among the stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? There are just some of the que these are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further xeno xeno archaeological archaeological expeditions. Damn, that's a big word. What you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers, and quite unusually, unusually, only three eyes. The Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. Differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that Herthians couldn't have descended from Nomai's uh, ancestors. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from, or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. Okay. It's saying that I obviously had the thought that like, oh shit, what if these people are the the nomads? The nomad people, you know, just like evolution and shit. But now they're saying there is no way that that is possible. So interesting. Obviously something's going on. And I'm sure you're going to learn a lot more about nomad people. Uh, it's, it's like, all their shit here is about them. Uh, the Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds adventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the little scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. This crystal was taking, taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distor distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Oh, shit. Whoa. Uh, what the f Whoa, that was trippy. The angler fish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. What about that? Pictures of. I'm assuming what is the, I'm assuming that I recognize this from that satellite. Uh, so I think this is the planet we're on. Um, if a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. And ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Church's observation, Observation is this will one day be the fate of our own sun. As the star's core con contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. 
When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. Oh, I'm doing this backwards. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star, is, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it's observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. fucking nope. Big fucking nope to that. Oh, I'm fucking saying. Fuck that shit. Future site of our next exhibit. If you've enjoyed your time with Outer Wilds, please consider supporting our planned museum expansion. Our quest to explore the furthest reaches of our solar system wouldn't be possible without generous visitors like you. We thank you profusely for your support and we hope to see you again soon. Watch closely, these balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the outer rock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. Dude, this fucking rock? Creepy, okay? If any of you have watched fucking Doctor Who, Weeping Angels, Fuck that shit, man. That shit's creepy. Get the fuck out of here. There, there you are. I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Know My Translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Know My. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once, you, once you're in space? I'm going to learn more about the Nomai. I'll meet up with the other travelers. I want to go somewhere no one's gone before. I think I'll start with something small. I'm going to wing it. I want to learn more about the Nomai. I might have guessed as much. No sense in making a translator tool if you're not going to use it to translate anything. We barely scratched the surface of the Nomai writing in our solar system, so we still know very little about them. We have no idea if they origi originated here or traveled here or why they disappeared. That tool of yours should prove indispensable in solving the mystery of this ancient species. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm re <laughs> I'm ready to die in space. What the fuck? I'm ready to get off this rock. Excellent. You'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Alright, I got the launch codes. Where do I go now? fuck was that?
Hey, hey, so did you get a good look at the Nomai statue? The statue looked at me and opened its eyes. Whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? So its eyes opened, and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights around. You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch, like, medically speaking? No, the statue is definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? Hornfell's tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened to him. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabro said they were going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more? On the other hand, Gabro's, you know, Gabro. So maybe you'd be, out, be better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous you're going in space. Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. Hello, astronaut. Are you going into space today? Are you going into space and never coming back like Feldspar did? Uh, don't worry, I'll come back. Uh, that's what Feldspar said too, but they never did. Hornfells will be really sad if you don't come back, like how sad it makes them to talk about Feldspar. So you should make sure you don't get lost in space too. Go down here. Uh, I'm assuming I gotta go up here. Enter launch codes, yeah. Let's just try and go to the Addle Rock. Oh my god, I crashed. <laughs> oh shit. that flag over here Esker signal scope log day 48 still not picking up Brivex banjo from Brito Hollow I'm sure they're fine but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Listen to Chirp play for a while today, unrelated. Someone should tell Wolfie and Gosson their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Day 55. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Ryback's doing okay. Uh, that oaf. I was worried. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know. It was probably nothing. Day 70. No, it's back again today too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. D76, okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timur Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspur's harmonica. But Feldspur's disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be then. Day 88, I'm still here. This is crazy. Maybe my signal scope is broken? I'd better talk to Nice. Oh, 
Oh, who's this? Oh, hey, it's you. Wait, do I need... I don't need a suit up here? Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Don't the other travelers come by? The lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chirk comes by to say hi, but Gabro's Gabro, and you know how Ryback feels about unnecessary space flights. Uh, don't go. I, uh, I mean, anything else you want to ask? Seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with ground control, hornfells, and gossip mostly. They were you up to chat now and then. And when ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. Spy on us? Uh, what? No, it's not spying. It's, uh... It's one-way communication that none of the villagers know about because I never told them. Don't go. Uh, talk to you later, dude. Oh, what's this? Here we go. Here's something. Wow, wow, I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seeing for myself, it's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, I'm time for some official notes. So this is some kind of Nomai locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way, but from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try to find something specific. I'm not sure. I was also able to translate something about the south pole of brittle hollow so i'll fly there to see if i can learn more yep just gonna get back in the old ship and take off totally safe mostly safe those stars above pick up scroll insert scroll uh where should this new more sophisticated locator be built it may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Kanoi would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately then. Anona and those of us originally stranded on Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there, but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I would recommend building on that planet. I was upstairs testing the ice signal locator and, can, and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, Giant's Deep, and Brittle Hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. Yeah, I just did that. Uh, this is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. 
I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to post this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope. Uh, don't lose hope, Kassava. Our search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. Uh, looking for an eye. Okay. And where was it again? Brittle's Hollow? Brittle Hollow. I'm really curious as to what's going on in Brittle Hollow. Okay, uh, can I actually get out? Okay, I could totally, like, okay. God, I didn't need to be in my suit. Uh, never mind, I think I did need to be in my suit. The other guy wasn't in his suit. Wait, how far back are you bringing me? Hey, you ready to get this thing off the ground? Ships all of you. Did I did I just die? Oh, bad dream or something? You look half asleep, but that's a negative on being deceased. I know it's tradition to sleep out under the stars uh, the night before launch, but if you ask me, it makes you all, all a bit jumpy. What? So it's getting really interesting. I know I should just jump right back into space, uh, but I really want to go back to the observatory. Hey, look at this. The statue opened its eyes. Bet you wish you'd seen that happen, huh? <gasps> it opened its eyes. Storm with the raid! Hello, motherfucker. Hello, motherfucker. Uh, I'm not even a little closer to understanding what's going on with the statue. Was there something you needed? Tell me more about Feldspar. Feldspar was one of the four founding members of Outer Wilds, along with our flight coach, Gossin Slate, the engineer, and me. Engineer, engineer. Uh, as ground control and later the museum curator, I didn't work with Feldspar as closely as Slate and Gossin did. I can tell you Feldspar was absolutely fearless, though. Nothing scared them. Test piloted everything Slate ever built. It's a wonder Feldspar lived to see space, frankly, but they did flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find and then one day they just didn't come back we don't know what happened or where feldspar went or even whether they're still alive i was on the moon and um it was like a uh, like a journal or whatever and they were saying that they heard feldspar's harmonica coming from this planet their home planet so did i explore that or should i go back to the moon check out this area I saw this when I was looking at the satellite images uh, so I was curious as to what the hell is in here or what's down here uh, that's a no my skeleton
Yeah, uh, I'm dead. I should have put the suit on. Let's suit up. Got it down here. I'm really back to spot number 20. <laughs> what have we got here? What's this? I'm still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin project requires. Isn't this the ore or the, for the remaining towers being built on the on Ash Twin? The completed towers I've seen are quite large. Uh, no, the material for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. If they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they planned according <laughs> accordingly. I thought you had forbidden your apprentice from making puns, Coleus. How else would he improve? I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use Timber Earth's ore only for constructing the constructing this shell. If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metal metallurgy, metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. Oh, hey! -o. My gratitude for the latest shipment, Onio. Uh, this ore should be. The last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. Uh, once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Entrances. Remy and I will be checking the interior, and then the exterior for cracks. Our final safety check. Uh, this is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check, specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ashland project could lead to disaster. Okay. What the fuck is this, man?
That's some fucking creepy shit, man. That was, uh... That was interesting. Very interesting. Huh. I'm gonna take a break. <sighs> Ain't confusing yet. Uh, a reminder, and to those who don't know, um, I got a 20% off merch sale. Everything in the merch store is 20%. Am I underwater? Uh, we got that RMYT, what I'm wearing right now, this one. This one right here. 20% off. 1750 One easy payment. For I died. What happened? Oh my god. I died. What happened? I should have paused the game. There's a ship here. I'm here. I did it. I put the ship down safely. Uh, in that sh in that the ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs. So the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Feldspar would barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news, I uh, haven't found a way inside this structure yet. The uh, door's broken, and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one. Probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface... I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to try to find a way down. Okay, cool. The journey here from the South Pole has been, um, I'm going to go with harrowing because of the, um, all of the meteors. But hey, at least I made it here unconcussed and not on fire. Okay, let's see. I poked around a little and there's some sort of old Nomai path that starts across from my campsite inside the ruined building with trees growing out of it. Doesn't look like anything horrible, just stairs leading down. I can handle stairs. After I get my supplies together, I'll follow the path and see where it leads. Okay. Oh shit! Well, that was deeply unpleasant. I made it this far though. Guess that's the part to focus on and not how I'll eventually have to get back up that path. But wow, this place sure is something. Looks like the Hanging City is north of here and East is a gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. And another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below, uh, which is good since I uh, used up a lot of my supplies screaming during the trip down from the surface. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head farther down below so I can refill my tank.
Yeah, there's someone here. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Oh, you launched. That's great. Great job, you. Wow, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. A lot of history here. It's great. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. Um, an alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only you've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. You want to know how I even got this far? I fell. Tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable instead of being sucked into what's below. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity so I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? Uh, that'd be... I learned something. Oh, cool. Um, what is it? Actually, never mind. Oh, okay, if you do find... If you do find learn something new about Nomai, though, I'd love to hear it. Um, if you don't mind, I mean... Uh, where should I explore here? Oh, wow, where shouldn't you explore here? Um, not the uh, black hole, actually. That's <laughs> God, fate, what the fuck? Which is unfortunate because uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the hanging city. That's just uh, to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface, trust me, I tried, but if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Um, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it. It's not too much trouble. Oh, what are you doing out here? Me? I'm an archaeologist, remember? Or um, the archaeologist, I guess, seeing as I'm all timber heard the Scott right now. Greater Hollow is rich with Nomai history. That's why I'm here. This planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. Have any questions about Brittle Hollow? No, my, I'm your Hearthian. Or, um, I have some knowledge of them, I mean, so maybe I can help? See you later, dude. <laughs> oh my god, Storm, what the fuck? You too? Hell no. Bye! my fucking ship I'm not making it to my ship well I'm lost now I don't know where that thing is anymore well I'm fucking stuck now you will level critical oh uh, I saw it I know it's coming pop Uh, welcome to uh, the White Hole Station. If you fell through the Black Hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Yes. Uh, every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. In this case, Brittle Hollow. 
If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Uh, you must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. Where do I, where do I put this thing? What is it doing? I have no idea what's going on right now. Do I have to stop it somehow? Turn warp status charge. Step on the warp receiver platform to activate return warp. Uh, departure time. Seven arrival time. Where the fuck am I? This is the way. This is the way. The hanging city below 50 meters. Ooh. Show me, show me, show me. What is it? Yes. What was that? Oh, what's this? Feldspar's spare jetpack fuel. It's annoying to schlep across the planet to the ship if I can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. I checked with my little scout. I do, too, use it. One fells, you burnt marshmallow. And the scout's integrity reading said this piece of hip brittle hollow is as stable as any, but who knows. If the fuel's still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, wherever you're reading this note, I'm sure you've got bigger problems. Grammy and I reviewed the records you sent, Poke, and they appear to show no my arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the Whitehole station. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested it and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time its own warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandth of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? As I've already told Ra Ramy, these measurements can't be accurate. How can a gnome I arrive on the brittle on Brittle Hollow before he or she never stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Uh, Poke, as Pi is confident the reading's inaccurate, she's kindly helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the high energy lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. An update. Poke, the high energy lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once. You need to see this. I don't disagree. It would mean, uh, it would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Uh, yes, I hope so too. Well, that's interesting. Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interesting. Uh, I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis. Uh, could it be a shift in the light spectrum? 
Suppose the moon is too shy, too shy to show us its face. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? I imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Hypothesis: There can exist too much lava. I'd strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. Then I imagine there'd be none of us left. This moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend hollow's lantern for nights at a time. The nights the moon circles this planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. Uh, beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. The trees are moving. The trees in this grove uh, wander about freely. The entire planet roots and all. This is not normal. Even for this alien planet, and I never see them move. Is that even possible? Uh, if anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant, or my brain must be. Uh, alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There is only matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. Uh, that rock is unusual for another reason, too. That sh it uh, possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis, this rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what it is causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? Uh, Plume is right. The trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read his notes. Well, no. Uh, Plume, Felix, uh, and I have determined this atypical shot of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. The only other object to be observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this groves are related. Uh, in her note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Riddle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis, this quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Uh, of note, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend, the wandering moon, Sounds the same. Uh, I've also heard the same signal this shard produces calling out from Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one. Some creepy ass shit. Stop doing that. this 
Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Uh, if you are making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the lost, the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Um, where do I, where can I put this scroll? Where should we go? Um, we just go back here. Okay. go again. Yep. Friends on Brittle Hollow. I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design worked. We've successfully re recreated warp travel. I don't know how close it is to Nona's original design, but as long as what we built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Kasava, I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate Kaj. Causality. Uh, there must be an equipment here somewhere. Someone is at the front door. Someone's at the front door. Uh, I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you in route meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Uh, don't tell. Okay. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower. Although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole.
that picture looks interesting. What the fucking moon? The fucking moon they're talking about? the shuttle home. This is, but I'm fucking going to it. Never mind, I'm not going to it. I'm gone. God damn it, man. Is this? This is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Uh, even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Uh, yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone called it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Uh, suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep warm and continue monitoring the surface. Uh, this would be wise. I think, Clary, if you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I can continue to investigate the surface. is missing he vanished from the 
lake bed cave, the one at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole, several days ago, and were unable to find any trace of him. I don't know how much air he had when he disappeared. I beg uh, any friend reading this, help us recover Coleus. Uh, this rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Because your unique color and texture appears ident identical to a rock I met earlier. Uh, Alright. Wasn't this the same rock fragment in that cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole? We plan to re-examine the northern lake bed cave. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us down there. Uh... In update, Ellery and I went back to the lake bed cave and observed this rock again. Sometimes it's there and sometimes it isn't. That means this rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. The fuck? Fucking creepy ass rock, man, I swear. That shit moves too. Sunless City. Call the shuttle home. The shuttle is currently resting at the comet. Let's call the shuttle home. I fear our situation may be dire. I poke and I landed here on this comet not long after its arrival in the star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. I and Poke were able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side, and they descended inside to investigate the source of the readings. But Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time now. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface either. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow a protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Oh, Pi, come back to me safely, my friends. Wow. Fucking, fucking crashed. <clears throat> ah.